Thanks for joining me today. Today, we are gonna go look for locally sourced food. And because I live right on the grounds of Roots Market, here in Lancaster, PA, come along with me and let's get some locally sourced meat, cheeses, fruit, veggies, you name it. Midway, lots of fruits and vegetables, the meat and cheese stands, anything that needs to be refrigerated it is inside the building. It's slowing down now because it's almost two o'clock. Great place to source local food. Okay, so I'm back from the farmer's market. I'm going to show you the local food that I got. Market pulls from a lot of different areas in Lancaster County. There's even people who come in from out of Lancaster County to sell their stuff, whether it's food or non-food products. But I'm gonna show you my haul for today at the farmer's market I choose to go to, which is called Roots Country Market. It is in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, and it has a variety of different vendors that sell different products and I think you would like it if you've never been. The first things I want to show you is I got Brussels sprouts, some squash, onion, green and red peppers, that's baby spinach in there, some corn on the top, and some baby tomatoes. All of these items are great additions to my fridge. And I got some fresh peaches and tomatoes. Then I got some lunch meat. We have here country ham, hard salami, because you know I'm Italian and I like salami, and some bologna. Bologna, bologna. They say bologna here in Lancaster. But anyway, this is from Conrad Deli, which is a nice deli place to go. Then I go and get some meat. We have some sausage links here. We also have some hard cheese, longhorn cheese. We have some ground beef that I'm going to cut up into servings. And then I think this is our bacon in here. Fresh bacon anybody who has great chicken down at this market. I always get it at the grocery store. But these meats here are from Hummer's Meats at Roots Market. So for tonight's dinner, I'm using some of that great chopped meat to make Mediterranean style stir fry, beef stir fry. And I'm gonna bring you along since we went shopping together. First step is to brown the ground beef with or without onion, whatever you prefer. As you can see, I'm browning the meat and we're going to put a little bit of onion in there for flavor. Gonna add some pepper. I don't usually add much salt. So, pepper is added. I like to add pepper while I'm cooking but my grandmother used to always say, you don't put pepper in a meal until it's done for just finishing touches, finishing flavors or something. But I always put pepper in while I'm cooking. So comment down below. Do you add pepper while your meat or whatever is cooking? Or do you add it at the end as a finishing touch? Then when the meat's almost cooked, I like to add Italian seasoning. And the Italian seasoning will do. Now, 
I am chopping up a half a bell pepper because there's only two of us. It's a family of four. Make sure to double everything that I do. So there we go. I have my bell pepper all chopped up. Next, what I do is I get a fresh tomato. I use about half of the tomato per two people. So I dice that up. Now let's saute the peppers and tomatoes. So they're gonna get a nice saute there. Peppers, tomatoes, at this point, add the garlic there to that small pan if you like garlic. The next step is we are going to cut up the babies. They're all washed and the stems are off. So next step we're going to do is just do a rough chop. You don't have to use a knife. You can just rip it like that with your hands if that's the way you choose to do it. But some sort of rough chop before we add it to the peppers and tomatoes. My next step is to add it to the peppers and the tomatoes. Sometimes it's hard to do things one-handed, but the spinach is now in with the peppers and the tomatoes. Actually, I have salted and peppered my tomato, pepper, and spinach mixture. I'm boiling some potatoes. We're going to have some mashed or buttered potatoes with this dish. And everything is working great together. Now it's time to mix the veggies with the meat. Okay, now this beef Mediterranean stir fry is ready with a side of potatoes. And the final product Mediterranean beef stir fry with a side of potatoes.